and Hun involving hundreds of police and soldiers is underway in France now for a suspected extremist who went on a shooting spree around one of Europe's most famous Christmas markets. Authorities said the attack in the eastern French city of Strasbourg killed two, left one person brain dead and 12 others injured. NBC's Richard Engel reports from Strasbourg. A manhunt is underway in Strasbourg and all across France for a man identified partially as Sharif C. Police say that Sharif C. came to Strasbourg last night and opened fire, first firing on police, but killing at least two people who were at a Christmas market in this area. Sharif C., who is a, a known criminal in this country, he'd been convicted 27 times for burglary, for violence. He had also become an Islamic radical during one of his stints in a French prison and that he'd been on a terrorist watch list in this country. The sequence of events began yesterday morning. Police raided his house here in Strasbourg for an unrelated burglary charge. They found grenades in his house. He wasn't there, but that apparently set him off. It made him determined to carry out his attack. Now France has put this country on its highest terror alert, uh, tightened security at the borders, and issued a, a, an alert to police officers nationwide that Sharif might be in a blue Ford as this search for this suspect continues. Richard Engel, NBC News, Strasbourg, France. All righty, Richard, thank you for the update there. In the meantime, we are following breaking news from London, where the political future of British Prime Minister Theresa May is on the line. May is facing a no-confidence vote called for by members of her Conservative Party. She's been deeply criticized for her handling of Britain's planned exit from the European Union, also known as Brexit. But the so-called deal she negotiated appears doomed. May vows to fight the no-confidence vote, and British bookmakers are not taking any more bets.